simple, simple thank you, gratitude, and happiness, and joy, and a, you're too old. I still say she's been wrapped in green. <laughs> How many Davids are there? That's something that's for America. That's uh, delicious. Hot chocolate. Had a baby. Get it. What's that chocolate? Sponge cake. That chocolate is so good. It's so good. I can't even bring it out. It looks really good. I bet it's a good one. Well, there we go. That's not all. I'm going to bring it from the place. Look at this. Beautiful. Let me try one. Do I have to bargain? <laughs> no. Yeah. You didn't have to beg. Oh, okay. Thank you. This looks no. good to be passed. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. uh, you never mm. know if you're in the matter again. That's the very first thing you're in. Hi. Uh, How is it? Great. Are you ready for dessert? Yes, I am. Okay, right. Yeah, get it, Joe. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. What do you do for Easter? Yeah. How's the meal, Joel? Yeah. Delicious. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. At least the wedding is supposed to be good. Wow. A big bacon. Were you impressed with the reading oh, of the... Uh, I, I thought it was, uh, you have the book? I thought it was an uplifting uh, uh, Seder. Uh -huh. No, we don't need any books. It's a revelation. It is a revelation. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I, uh, I'm not like that. Sure. Sure. It's a minor thought. Phil, what is it? I thought oh, it was un God. relatively unfocused. Yeah. You think it's unfocused? Yeah. I thought it was unfocused. It's a book. Yeah. 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 I thought that's your that's handling it was excellent, but it was unfocused. I thought it was. Yeah. That's yeah. All. Yes. I thought yes. Diana yes. was enough. Yes. Diana yes. was enough. Yes. Yes. I saw it. How do you feel, Phil? Hey, no. no. I could give it up right now and go to bed. Say you're recording it. There are three ways. Short and long. Crumb. I used to pick it up in stereo. Is that right? Yeah. You know, I got chocolate. Is that our stereo? And I got brownie. Yes, brownie. In other words, you're supposed to see that and all that. And just say something. And I've had, you know, I. This is the morning of the 21st, I believe. And we are now going to make matzah fry, which is a traditional uh, matzah egg dish that's done uh, uh, in some of the best circles in Israel and even in ancient Egypt at the time. They did it. First of all, what we do is uh, we have a bowl, and into which we uh, break. For instance, we're having three people this morning. So we let's see how we do it. Like so. Notice the professional eggy thing. Okay. That's one. We'll have we'll use four eggs. Oops. Not too great. This for Florida too? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. All those rednecks down there? Mm-hmm. That's nice. All they know is black eyed peas. Ah. What's it's in it's grits. Grits? Well they're not black eyed. I hope they're true true grits, right? Mm-hmm. Let me. Uh, They've heard that before. <laughs> They've heard that before. Here's our other guest right here. Uh, She's never had matzo fry before. She's going. Half Fraser is going to give us her analysis of the dish. Any any sudden nausea or anything like that will not be filmed. <laughs> okay. Do I look better than uh, the other day? Mm -hmm, you look fine. No, I didn't have any neck at all the other day. Yeah. Sort of upset me. Stomach still. Uh, Got to lose some weight. Okay, back to the matzah. Back to the matzah. Now, what we do is... You're blocking it, though. Block, block, blocking it? Okay. What we have to do at first is uh, get another bowl here, which in which we're going to uh, break the matzah. Usually we only use one bowl, but because this is a professional, we're going to use two. Take the matzah out. These are traditional matzah. They're not egg matzah. They are matzah matzah. And we have a lot of people, and I'm sure they're going to eat a lot. So what we'll do is we'll take... Uh, do you like matzah pass? Yeah. One, two, yeah, three. This stuff. We'll throw them in here. This matzah is damaged. We will destroy this matzah. <laughs> damaged matzah does not go in there. I think, is that enough? I don't think so. 
Now what was that? What's going on here? We are uh, smashing the matzah. Uh, we'll add another one. Now, into this we add, oh, let's put some water to soften up the matzah. One. There are two schools of thought. There's the cold water school and there's the hot boiling water school. Can you put two cups of water in there? Two, just to soften it up. I so you have to make it too <coughs> soft. What's up. the temperature that you that the, you use? The temperature that I use? Actually, it all depends on uh, what comes out of the tap. <laughs> it's city temperature. It's the average temperature is shared uh -huh. by the And it's spring, so... Uh, right. It's got a little bit of... Notice that? Okay. Or if you can put put the bowl towards this direction. Okay. Yeah, we'll add a little more water. That will get it uh, real soggy. Okay. And now we drain the water. The water is drained. Now, while this is uh, being done, I think we may as well heat up the uh, pan for... We're using Rokich Naya fat, which is, uh, has a slight oniony, oniony uh, flavor. And uh, we're going to the drawer where we have our tools. Too much sun? Well, there's contrast behind you and uh, everything okay, else. Okay, turn this up. And we put some of this fat. This is all vegetable shortening. Kosher for Passover. All right. So we'll heat it up. Of course, you can use uh, butter. Stuff like that there. Let me put this away. How do I sound? Any better, Peter? Sure, fine. I mean, I'd like a little direction, if you don't mind. Well, I can't give you direction. Uh, if I can. Mix the egg up. Family egg, the four eggs, right? Mm -hmm. Is there anything? Did you add milk or anything? Ah, uh, that's what I'm going to do now. Only for this occasion. What I'm going to do is put a little vanilla extract in. Do you mind showing me the bottle? That's the bottle, vanilla extract. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. give it a little flavor. Vanilla extract and. Vanilla extract is what we use when we make French toast also. It gives it uh, uh, a real nice uh, flavor. Where is the, what's the history of, of this dish? This was done as the uh, children of Israel left Egypt. They needed a brunch. They, right, they <laughs> needed brunch. And lox was not available at the time and cream cheese. Would have been perfect. But all the lox got killed when uh, the waters were turned to blood. Now we have this here so far. Now what we will do is we will combine the matzah and the egg. And the So the matzah was wet, it's a little more absorbent. Oh, is that the reason? Did you drain the water? I drained the water before. But you, there was still moisture in there? Well, the moisture, moisture was absorbed into the matzah. You, right. you would have to uh, squeeze each individual matzah. Like, right. We don't do that now. No, no. Okay. There's some consistency. Some people have a lot more eggs. I like a lot more matzah. That's true that a variation is not smashing up the matzah as much, correct? Probably. Right, sort of layered. So it's just layered. There you go. Very nice. The thing about it is that the Passover dish, and uh, with, you can't use a lot of things that you only would use. Now, we have this, looks like it's uh, just fine. Now, what we'll do is put the uh, temperature hot. Hot, H-O-T, hot. In other words, anything that uh, would fall into it would be a little comfortable. Mm, can you smell the... Uh... 
It really smells good. It smells like it's going to be fantastic. You, make it, you can make it either as, as a pie, sort of like a coke, and then sort of slice it up like sort of a pizza look. Or you can just scramble it. What do you like? Um, I think a pizza type. Yes, yeah, pie. Pizza type? Okay. So I'll put this in here like this. Mmm. This is... Mmm. That's the quote, Peter. Peter. That's Peter. Mmm. Right, Peter? Okay. I want to say hello, Michael and Nora, Jack, and uh, Biff, who's uh, going to be watching this because he's going to be Bob very Bliff. critical, I'm sure. Bob that Bob down here, he would have really, really divine addition. Uh -huh. He would represent the Egyptians at the Seder. Right. <laughs> because he always has you know, something to say that's sort of conflict with what I think. He's always competing with me, but he never quite makes it. But that's the way it is. It's all right. Let's see. Who else we got down there? And we right, bottle and crib, right, and right, wonderful. So now it's being cooked. And George, of course, right, right. right. All <laughs> these uh, people that have been very kind to me and very considerate, go out of the way. And uh, even though they don't want to, they hang around. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're nice. And that's about it. Is that is it? No, it's not done. How long do they cook? Until it's done. Okay, and we're not going to have anything to go along with this? Uh, well, you can't have any bread or anything like that. So. No, I mean, yeah, I mean, how about some fruit? We're having a dip here, Pete. It may be burned mm -hmm. by now. I feel, I hear, I smell a slight mm -hmm. burning. The dip's good, isn't it? I haven't tasted it yet. Oh, you haven't dipped? Very good. It is burning. Yes, <laughs> isn't it? You've got me talking too much. <laughs> See that? The important thing is not to burn it. <laughs> it's burned dry. Burned dry. Uh, right. Some fry, some dry. <laughs> some burn. <laughs> okay, now this is a very uh, delicate... Mm. But it's not really burned, it's sort of... Notice that? Isn't that gorgeous? Just uh, do the other side a little bit. It's just charred. No, <laughs> not bad. What you do is uh, you sprinkle either sugar, uh, I like sugar on it, or you can put the jelly or jam, and like a pancake, treat it as a uh, pancake. I'd say. What would you say, Peter? Mm-hmm. Okay. And actually even salt. Right. Beautiful. Uh, let's see if we can pick up some of it up. There's some nice and forks over there on the table. Thank the credit where credit is due, right? Yeah, that uh, comes from Florida too. That is museum museum quality cutlery. Season two days. Yeah. Okay, Pat, do the taste test. Well, okay. that's I'm supposed to be sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good yeah. taste. Okay. Yeah, you need salt or something. Okay. Like I'll try just my first one with salt and a little pepper. Okay. Okay, Peter, come on. Totally unusual, not expected at all. No. It's very good. You like it? Mm -hmm. you know, we get some sugar and then we'll try some sugar. I expected it to be um, much um, more onion from what you used, that flavoring. What am I supposed to be getting here? With sugar, but do you know where the sugar is? This is yeah, there we go. It's really delicious. Yeah, okay, fine. Don't worry about it. I'm sure. Go ahead. You, 
I'm going to fire in the camera while you uh, taste. That's okay. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and it's only going to be the second bite box. Don't worry about it. Applesauce, great. Right, and Jemima syrup will be good too. You think of it like a pancake. I love it with the applesauce. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Carrie. How are you? Good. The house, here we are on Laurel Avenue. Pat. Okay, Pat, we're off. All right. To see a little bit of Connecticut suburban life.